What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 101 and as you can tell by this giant freaking thing of a ton of guns, I am doing my collection video. So I'm just going to do a broad overview, let you kind of look at all the guns real quick. I'm doing it outside on this beautiful Father's Day and then I will go ahead and start back here at the left top with sniper rifles. So up here, up top, is a well sniper rifle. I know it's a little bit shadowy, um, but here is a well sniper rifle. This is just a spring sniper rifle. You got kind of a tactical stock, which is pretty nice. Nice grip. Um, well magazine. This isn't. This is just a Springer. It has a kind of a cool rail system. I chopped off the orange tip on it. It's nothing really special. Next down below that, we have an Echo One M28. Now this gun's actually pretty nice. It has a few upgrades. It's got a nice matrix scope on it. Has a Madbull Black Python barrel inside of it. And you can tell it's got a kind of cool OD-ish paint job and then just a bipod on the front of it and a Force Recon giant suppressor. The barrel only goes to like right here, but James decided to put a freaking huge suppressor on it, so do what you want. Next is my main sniper. This is my Tokumuri VSR-10. This thing is awesome and beautiful. It has a really cool tiger stripe paint job on it. It has a lot of upgrade steel sears. It has a Garter 6.02 barrel. It has my Contour Rome 2 Rage Cam scope cam on it that I've been testing recently and hopefully gameplay footage of that will be out soon. It's got a suppressor adapter with a, just a cheap generic suppressor. Has an upgraded red bucking. I'm not exactly sure the brand on that. And then I think it has a few compression upgrades, just like some Teflon tape stuff and I'm getting more upgrades for that gun as well. Next down we have a Crossman Snipe Rifle. This is just kind of a cheaper Crossman Snipe Rifle. Um, it's kind of cool-ish. It doesn't shoot the best, but it's just normal. We've got a normal scope on it. Just a simple 3x9x40 three by, three by scope. Got the magazine down there in the bottom. And then just a little bit of tape over the um, orange tip because why not? Next we have a GMP M14. This is really cool. This gun unfortunately does not work the greatest, which is kind of kind of unfortunate, but it's a really really nice gun. It's a GMP M14. It's the it's like the more recon socom version of the gun. I guess I can just use my shadow finger to point things. And then it's got a, a more traditional M14 style flash hider. Next, we have a gas sniper rifle. This thing's pretty cool. It's got a nice tan um, it's got a gas magazine, obviously. It's pretty freaking huge, the gas magazine. The gas magazine weighs more than the gun it by itself does. Just a normal style bipod there. It's got a kind of cool flash hider and actually has some threads here at the end. I don't know if you can put anything else on that, but it's kind of a cool commentator suppressor look. Next, we have a Spring G36, nothing really simple. This is just the Springer section. I'm just going to go through that. Spring G36, Spring M4, Spring M4, Spring Crossman M4, but no one really cares about Springers, but they are a part of the gun collection because they are guns. Oh, there's my real seal PTW. Um, up here at the top, we have the two most expensive guns in the collection. This is my Systema PTW, beautiful America gun. These two guns by themselves are probably worth like four grand total. Um, if we were to build each of these with all the packages I have with them, they'd probably be about $2,000 a piece. And they are just beautiful, beautiful guns. On the back here, I have a Mission First Tactical Stock. I have a Magpul MOE FCC Fight Club Custom Grip. I have a really cool uh, laser engraved America Magpul thing up there. We got an EOTech 552 replica. I have an AFG-1 as well as a VTAC rail system. This is their modular, kind of tubular style handguards. I have an Olight M22 flashlight on there if I need to blind some chumps. Just a normal birdcage M4 flash hider as well. This gun is beautiful. I love it. I have to get a Red Wolf hop-up for it still because I, my, my old system hop-up kind of broke. So that is actually in the mail and will be here soon. Next, we have a system of TW5. This thing is beautiful. It shoots so well. It's an incredible gun. Systema just makes some really, 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 really good stuff. Um, just standard and full length stock. I have a UTG rail system on it. I have a Magbull shorter grip. These are the newer grips and I have it wrapped with, uh, oh yeah, it's wrapped with some grip tape. Um, I got some XCM panels, black and tan, just to get a little bit of mix there on the top, or I mean the sides, and then we have the UTG black thing. <laughs> I don't really like the black under rails, but I didn't have any more XCM, so I put it. I have a bunch of mags with this, two cylinders with, with this gun, 
and it shoots absolute lasers. It's incredible. Next, we have another Systema style gun. This is an ANK Systema. It's got an awesome key mod rail system on it. This gun needs a motor, which is actually in the mail as well. Um, that's why the, the grip obviously isn't on there, but after that it, it has just normal stuff in size. It has, um, I believe it's got a tight bore barrel in it. Um, it's got some different electronics specifically. Next gun is the uh, most important, most expensive operator gun in my arsenal. This is my Nerf uh, freaking Al Alpha Trooper. I'm just kidding. I do. I threw that in there just because I thought that'd be silly. And I do actually play Nerf at college because I can't play with my airsoft guns there, so I take that thing and shoot all my friends in my dorm. If you have not, if you don't go to college, or if you have, like, you, everyone that's been to college and they're uh, and the comments will be like, yeah, we play Nerf Wars at college. It's a real thing. Next, we have the brothers. These are the KDBA SR10s. There's two. They're both um, built. This one shoots 27 rounds a second. This one shoots 30 rounds a second on an 11.1 LiPo. They're incredible. They just shoot very, very fast. They were built by SureShot Midget. He built them to have pretty high-speed builds. Um, and they're just they're just absolutely incredible. This one has a really cool muzzle brake up here. Um, it's got a green laser, which is very bright. One of those, like really cool uh, lasers. Um, it's got a pressure slide pad right there to use it on a crappy kind of tango down style. Actually, I don't know what that, that's not the tango down style foregrip. I don't know what kind of foregrip that is, but it's just a generic foregrip. You got a replica ACOG up there. It's G and P. Um, actually, both of them have G and P ACOGs. And then the normal just SR10 rest of the bodies rail. This one has a suppressor and AFG1, and they both have a frick ton of internals in them to make them incredible. They actually both have type barrels that go through the length of the barrel as well. Next, we have a Wii Masada, Wii MSK, whatever you want to call it, um, Wii ACR. It's incredible. It shoots very, very hard. It shoots about 420 feet per second. Um, it's a really great gun. It's got a nice, I really like the, like the Wii hand guards with the Raptor um, style. I don't know. They kind of just did some really cool stuff with that. And then it has a pretty cool flash hider on the end there. This thing kicks hard. My brother's done some upgrades to it as well, so it kicks a little bit harder than a normal one would, but it's awesome. Next, we have a Wii PDW. This gun is pretty cool. Um, it's got some upgrades internally. I have a 6.01 Angel Custom Barrel in it. I have an upgraded bucking, and it has a Magpul MOE grip, and then I have some extra pieces just in case any internals break. I have a JBU threaded AAC style flash hider with a suppressor there. It just says modular suppressor system. It's pretty cool. Um, I've not, I've never seen one of these before, um, but it's, it's pretty cool and I finally got one. So I was like, ah, oh, that's, that's unique. I want to pick that up. JBU is a kind of a not well-known company. Next we have a GMP walk. Now this is actually a custom build. I actually just sold this gun to one of my friends. Um, it's a GMP walk custom build. He's going to Daytona gun it. It has Magpul XTM panels right there. One of the, the better ones right there, and then the older versions of them. And then the body is a Knight's Armament Stoner body, which is incredible. It's like a $200 body by itself off of eHobby Asia. I believe it's, I mean, like, different China companies are the ones that have them, but it's, it's really cool how well licensed it is. Next, we have a Polar Star. I know you guys that are familiar with my channel love Polar Star. So here we have the Lancer Tactical. Weapon, this is one of their polymer build bodies, so it's incredibly light. You can tell right there. It's just a super, super light gun. I think it weighs like around three or four pounds. Very, very light. It has a tight bore barrel in it, pro wind hop up chamber, as you can see the beautiful blue right there. It's got a nice red dot sight on the top. And then you can obviously see the air hose, which indicates that it would be a Polar Star, unless it was like a Daytona gun or you HPA tap the grip. Just kidding. It also has a uh, night fire. Night Evolution flashlight. I never remember the exact brand, uh, but Night Evolution flashlight. It's actually pretty bright, or pretty bright and nice, and it has the pressure switch weaved over on this side. And you can see, I guess it's pretty bright outside, so you don't really see the light turn on very well. Next, we have a Valken V12. This is pretty cool. This is a um, kind of different gun that I had not seen before. Um, I'd not been familiar with Falcons, but it's Valken V12 engine. It has an EOTech up top. The externals are kind of crappy, just cheaper polymer body. Um, but it's got a nice quad rail system, and then just a normal birdcage flash hider, and then you also have your little mag pole there. Let's go up to the shotguns next. So here are tri shot shotguns, two tri shot shotguns. I believe they're both UTG. Actually, I think this one's a UTG on the bottom. And then I think that this one is a Crossman. Anyway, they're both tri shot shotguns. Have a really cool snakeskin paint job. Uh, we did the same thing to both of them, which is pretty cool. So I kind of like that. 
Um, just normal tri shots. They're pretty cool. This is a G and G. Um, this is like their Mark 18 style build. I don't know the exact name for it, but they basically tried to make a Mark 18 polymer rail system and call it a Mark 18. Um, even though it's not the actual Daniel Defense rail system, but it actually shoots pretty well. It had some compression issues, as a lot of G and Gs do out of the box. Sometimes, depending, you can kind of either get lucky or not. But we fixed the compression issues, and now it shoots pretty great. G and G green buckings are pretty good out of the like out of the box. You kind of have one of those, and so that was kind of one of the best things that came out of that. Next, we have a super upgraded MP5. This thing shoots. I believe 26 rounds a second on 11.1. It rips, it's got one of the crispest trigger responses I've ever felt out of a semi-automatic gun, and it's super cool. Below it is also a stupid gun. This is a SSG single sector gear. However, it shoots like 30 rounds a second with an 11.1. This thing absolutely rips. It doesn't have as great a range as the top Echo 1 one does, but this thing is super good. This actually, I can't always, it's the Elite Force. This is the cheaper version of the MP5, the bottom one is. The top one's Echo 1. I always say VFC. I don't know why I say VFC. I think it's because I wanted one for a long time. But yeah, it's Elite Force uh, competition version, not the Pro line. Next, we have the Sleeper build. This is a clear <laughs> gearbox gun um, that actually shoots like 20 rounds a second. We're working on building it, possibly making it super cool, but we can't decide. Next is my main AEG. This is the AEG I have besides my system of PTW. I just actually finished building this literally yesterday. Um, I got a really cool Punisher um, laser engraved dust cover as well as a charging handle that has one of my favorite Bible verses on it. Um, it has a T1, which is beautiful. It has a really cool ZCI key mod rail system. If you guys are looking for a really nice rail system for cheap, ZCI key mods are like $30, $40, which is super, super cheap. And I did a cool little paracord job on it just because I thought it looked cooler and I didn't have a grip yet or rails. It has a Magpul nice new of the PTS. I think these are the, I don't know if they're called the MOE grip or the Ergo grip, but it's the newer generation of the Magpul grips. And then I have a GMP golf ball textured stock on there just to kind of complete the tan um, and black look and then I have a suppressor on the end as well as I'm getting a pro win hop-up chamber because this Aries one is pretty decent but it just is not as good as the pro wins and then I have an upgraded tight bore barrel in it and Prometheus purple bucking that I just got as well. Next we have a really cool Echo 1 gun. This is kind of a complete parts gun. Um, it has a really cool Daniel Defense Omega 9 inch rail on it. Pro win. Oh, this gun has been upgraded internally as well. I think this shoots like 25 rounds a second with 11 1, and it rips as well. Um, but this was meant to kind of be a more really like well built compression internal build, and it is. Oh, it's beautiful. It works very, very well with a Pro win, and I think it has a tight bore barrel, and I think it's a 6.03 tight bore barrel, and it shoots like 200 feet. Um, which is really really nice it's had a little bit of feeding issues recently but we think it's in the mag so we're getting on we're working on dissolving that or resolving that here is an ICS build this is an ICX or ICS weapon this is a split gearbox design it has a Magpul CTR stock on the back key mod rail system Magpul hand stop down there at the bottom pretty cool tri-prong flash hider as you can tell it's got a nice green little trigger in there I don't know exactly what brand that is but it's like a speed trigger it's a really cool ACOG style sight on the top and internally this thing shoots like 30 rounds a second as well it's been built by sure shot midget this is actually his main gun and it is a beast and just works very very well and shoots very very well next we have a sig this is just a cheap gun i kind of got i don't even know what brand this is but it's hilarious we have it wired to a 7.4 lipo on the side of it and it's just some crappy gearbox, a double eagle M82, that's what it's called. But it's like a SIG 552 replica, and I love the SIG in real life. So we picked this up and put it in it with the 7.4 LiPo. I guess this gun is super good. We've literally put probably like 20,000 rounds through it, just shooting and plinking with it, and nothing has gone wrong with it. We don't understand why, because I think it's all plastic internally. Next, we have a Cybergun FAMAS. This is pretty cool. It's got a little bit of upgrades in it. Uh, we got this broke, and sure time Midget fixed it up, and it's pretty great. It's a decent gun. It shoots probably about 140 feet pretty well, but it's a decent gun. Next is this awesome beast of a rocket launcher. This was built for me. I bought it from a guy named Lurch who creates, this is called the Noob Tube. If you want one of these, comment below and I will put a link in, in, in your comment box or in the description to if you can actually have him build you one custom for $200. And he custom engraved my with the Alec Mac one on one and did a snake skin job for me. And it is so cool. It shoots Nerf footballs. If you aim up like 45 degrees, it shoots about 300 feet. And if you aim straight up, it'll shoot like 500 feet in the air. And it is awesome. 
Next, we have the Pistol SMG Squad line. This is my Tokimori FN57. I actually just bought this. I had one a while ago. Probably one of my favorite pistols in the world. It looks beautiful. It's sexy. It's it's incredible. It shoots pretty well. This one, I think, has some sort of little, like, hop -up issue. It doesn't shoot as far as a normal TM with the Magic Pixie Dust, but it shoots pretty well. Next, we have a Colt Elite Force 1911. This has actually had the slide chromed on it because it looks really cool. I, I really like how that turned out. And it just kind of chromed the top and it looks all beautiful. Next we have a SIG. This is a CO2 SIG. Um, it's pretty great. I think this is a WE. Yeah, it's a, it's a WE. Um, and then it has the CO2 mag so it shoots a little bit harder and it's really nice. This is a M92 FS. Um, this is actually a KWC slash KJW. It has a lot of different it's got a different upper and different lower. I think the bottom, the lower is KGW, and I think the top um, is KSC. And it's just, it shoots CO2, it shoots like 420 feet per second. Shoots really hard, gives some great kick, and it is a cool little gun. Next, we have a Glock. This is a Tokimuri AEP. This is the electric Glock version. It's uh, really, really cool. It shoots about 150 feet with, with like 220 feet per second, so it's kind of unique and a really cool little gun. Next, we have a KWA SIG P226. This is a really nice gun. KWA built professional training pistol. Just feels really, really great in your hand like any KWA, and it actually works pretty decent. Um, we're actually having to send that back this week because something's wrong with it. Sometimes you kind of just get a lemon with any gun or any brand. And that's what happened with this, so we're going to send it back to KWA. Here is a KWA USPC Compact. This one has actually been HPA tapped like a few of these pistols you'll see here. It's a nice gun. Feels pretty great. I don't like it super well because I have bigger hands, but it works. This is one I really like because I do have bigger hands. This is a WEG18. Uh, I think this is 18. Yeah, this is a G18 because it's full auto. Um, it has the UG18C like the commentator cut in the slide there and it is also HPA tapped. I'm not a huge WE fan but this one's great and it's shot for like a year and it still has a broken nozzle at like 110 PSI and it's really really cool. Over here we have a KWA 1911. This is specifically the Mark II variant. There's a lot of different KWA guns that are produced. Uh, they make like four different 1911s so that's one of them. It's pretty cool. It's in our collection. It really fits nice in a Serpa holster and it shoots pretty decently. Here is my Spring Desert Eagle. I got this in my e-bike unboxing. It's awesome. It's stupid, but mainly awesome. Um, it's just a Springer, but it's hilarious. Just fun to kind of use and kind of plink around with in the backyard. Here we have a KWA M93R that is also HPA tapped. This thing is awesome. It shoots so well. It shoots in semi, three round burst, and full auto. Has a little awesome grip. We're thinking about getting a stock for it, but it is just an awesome gun. It shoots very, very well. Next, we have the SMG. This is a Task Force, I think it's Task Force, uh, I forget exactly what brand this is, but it's a Mac 11 variant, oh yeah, Tactical Force TF11. No, I don't know if it's, I think it's OEM by Cybergun, but it's just Tactical Force. <laughs> this thing shoots probably like 80 feet, maybe. Full auto shoots stupid fast, but it's really cool, and it has like a CO2 magazine that holds a lot of rounds. I think it only gets through one mag with this actually i think it's like through like two mags with one cu can but it shoots really fast and it's just kind of fun to use here we have a kwa mp9 talk about another fast full auto gun this thing's a beast um it doesn't shoot the greatest because the bucking is swollen so i might get a new bucking but i'm probably just going to trade it i'm not exactly sure what is what 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 if it's the bucking or sometimes these guns are just kind of not sure if they they work that great. I've had another MP9 that was, I think that one was just because it was used a lot, but it was not working as well. Here we have a Colt. This is actually the best gun I've ever owned in my life. This is a Colt PTW. Just kidding, it's a little Springer, um, but it's hilarious. Next we have two Springers. This one is just a Smith & Wesson something. And then we have a Taurus. I don't know exactly what brand, but a Taurus there. So yeah, guys, this has been Alec Mac one on ones giant collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments.